Good morning dear children. Praise the Lord. How are you all today? Are you all happy? Yes. Okay. Shall we all close our eyes and have a small word of prayer before we start our Bible story? Yes. Thank you Lord Jesus for this beautiful and blessed time that we are gathered here to listen to your story. Heavenly Father God Lord, you be with us. And Lord Jesus, you teach us about your love, about how to have faith in you, Father God, Lord. Lord, you help us to depend on you whenever we need anything. Father God, we thank you, Lord, for this blessed day. As the children are listening to the story, you open their minds and help the children to understand whatever I'm speaking, Lord. Let me not speak, Father God, but Lord, let you speak through me, Father, to this little children, O Heavenly Father. Lord, we thank you and praise you. All glory, all honor to you. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen, children. Okay. Children, before we get into the Bible story, I want to ask you all a question. Okay, everybody have to answer, okay? When you get up early in the morning, what is the first sound that you hear from the trees? You look out of the window and you see on the trees something. What is that, children? What do you see on the trees? Yes, birds, right? We see beautiful birds chirping early in the morning. Yes? These birds keep searching for food from morning to evening. And children, who provides food for these birds? Are there any special dishes prepared for these birds? No, right? These birds keep searching for food from morning to evening. And who provides them the food? God, yes. God provides food for these birds and takes care of them. Yes, now you tell me, when you're hungry and you don't have any food to eat, what do you do, children? You go and ask your mummy. Yes or no? Yes. But what for the birds? Who will provide food for these birds? Yes. God provides food for all the birds and all the living creatures. Yes. God provides the food because He loves them so much and He takes care of them. Just the way how God provides food for these birds Today, we will learn a Bible story how God provided food for more than 5,000 people who were really very, very hungry. Okay? So children, everybody listen carefully. Everybody eyes on me, ears open, fold your hands, sit straight and listen to the story what happened then. Okay? Once, when Jesus and his followers they were traveling to a place called Bethsaida what is that place name children can you repeat after me Bethsaida okay all the people gathered around Jesus and were listening to the teachings of Jesus there were more than 5,000 people sitting and listening to the teachings of Jesus everybody so everybody was so much deeply listening to what Jesus was speaking and they forgot that it was evening and they were deeply listening to the words of Jesus it became evening and everybody were feeling very very hungry children usually we also if at all we go to some places or some picnics or uh, any some uh, tourist places what happens morning and evening from morning till evening we will be roaming and seeing all around and watching beautiful things yes or no and by the time it gets evening we all feel hungry yes or no the same way when the people were sitting and listening to the, the teachings of Jesus everybody were so keenly listening that they forgot it was evening and everybody started feeling hungry whatever the food they caught in the traveling it has been finished and now it was late in the evening and everybody were hungry and they were talking to each other and discussing about their hunger so what happened then the Jesus followers saw what was been happening and they went and told Jesus 
whom did they inform children they went and told jesus about what the people were speaking and everybody were hungry then jesus told the followers give them the food but the followers said jesus there is a small boy who has only five breads and only two fishes how can we feed 5000 people with this small food with a little amount of food jesus then took the bread and the fish and prayed to god thanking god for the food after he prayed he told the followers to distribute the bread and the fish to all the people he divided the bread and gave it to all the followers to distribute and as the followers were distributing the bread and fish to people there were more and more and more bread coming out and more and more fishes were filled in the basket everybody started to take how much ever they need and started to eat and fill their hunger the bread and fish were going on multiplying and multiplying as they were distributing and the baskets were getting full yes the people were amazed and the followers were also amazed as they were distributing and after everybody started taking enough and after everybody started having enough do you know children how many baskets were left out do you know how many baskets yes 12 baskets were left out with bread and fishes did you see how god has provided food for more than 5000 people is it not a great miracle done by jesus yes it was a great miracle done by jesus so children now shall we all trust jesus from today whatever we need anything that we need we need to ask jesus in prayer just the way the people ask jesus for the food we also need to ask whatever we need in prayer with faith if you ask anything in prayer the god will listen to our prayers and he will provide everything just the way he provided for the birds the fishes and all the living creatures jesus also will provide us any time whatever you need because Jesus loves us so much so will you all put your trust in Jesus and ask him every day whatever you need okay good now children i'll ask you some questions from the story are you all ready to answer to the questions okay now the first question is what is the name of the place where Jesus was preaching What is the name of the place where Jesus was preaching? Yes, Bethsaida. The place name was Bethsaida. Okay, the next question. How many people gathered around Jesus? How many people gathered around Jesus children? Very good. More than 5000 people. Yes. How many breads and how many fishes did the boy have? Yes, five breads and two fishes. What did Jesus do with the bread and fish? What did Jesus do with the bread and fish, children? He thanked God and prayed for it. Yes. How many people ate the bread and fish? Yes, more than 5000 people. Now last question. How many baskets were left out, children? Yes, 12 baskets were left out with the fishes and bread. Yes or no? Okay children, so did you all understand the story how God provided food for more than 5000 people? Yes, because he loves us so much. He will provide us anything that we ask him in prayer. So from today, will you all ask Jesus whatever you need? Yes. Now now children, Uh, shall we close our eyes and thank God for the blessings that he has given us each day for everything that we need 
Shall we all close our eyes? Yes. My dear Heavenly Father God, Lord, we thank you and praise you that you're there for us, that you're taking care of us each and every day. Thank you for providing us food, shelter, clothing and whatever we need. Thank you for your blessings that you're pouring out on us each and every day. Thank you God for blessing us with everything that we need. Yes, just the same way how you provided for more than 5,000 people, we pray that you provide for all the poor people who are not having food and shelter. God, we thank you that you are there for us. Thank you for loving us so much and protecting us each day. We thank you. We praise you. Lord, you be with us and guide us and help us. All glory, all honor to you, Jesus. In Jesus' name I ask and pray. Amen. Thank you so much. God bless you all. Have a blessed day. Love you all so much, children.